Hey, welcome to High Guard Creation. In this video, I will show you how to add the right click in textual menu, which contains the functionality related to the Retopo or Modeling Room selection tools in the Hybrid Room High Guard Creations. Okay, great. In the left panel, inside the modeling section, I will choose the points to polygons tool. And I will create some polygons here in the viewport. Perfect. Next, I'm going to choose the select tool. And I'm going to select some faces. When I right click on any polygon here or in the viewport, there is no contextual menu appears related to the functionalities of the activated select tool from the retopo room, right? Right. <laughs> so that you can see better. I go to the Retopo room and I'm going to choose the select tool. I will select some polygons or faces. And now, when I right click on the faces, as you can see, automatically the contextual menu appears with the functionalities of the activated select tool, right? Right. <laughs> and the same menu appears the same way when I right click anywhere in the viewport. I will go back to the High Guard Creations room so I can add the same contextual menu from here of the right click menu, okay? Great. So I will open the script rmb.cpp from this button edit script for the rmb action. In the main function, which is right down here, inside the conditional structure if vox3 object picket, right here, I will add one more condition which is 2 ampersand and the vox3 item picket function, okay? This 2 ampersand here inside the condition means end. I think the function vox3 item picket it's for 3D code to detect if the right mouse button click it on the scope 3 layer or the item which would be the polygons okay but if i am wrong and if some of you really know what the vox3 item picket function is for please let me know down here in the comments okay so, what do these two conditions mean in this conditional if structure? It means if we right click it on a layer in the scope tree, or on surface of the geometry inside the scoped room, and if we right click it on a layer in the scope tree or on the surface of an item that would be the polygon on the retop or modeling room, then all the code inside this conditional structure will be executed. 
I repeat it again, right? Only if both conditions are true, okay? Good. The last step is to go to the closing curly bracket of the conditional structure if vox tree object picket and vox tree item picket. Down there, right here, right after the closing curly bracket of this conditional if structure, I will add another condition. Else, show space panel and all these parameters inside this function, okay? Great! This means that when we right-click it, we'll show the menu with the features related to the Retopo selection or modeling room tools, right? It's time to prove to you all that all the things I have done here inside the script are correct. So, I'm going to save this script Close it, back to 3D code and click the OK button. In the left panel of the interface, inside the modeling section, and I could choose any of these three selection tools. Selected the select tool. And with some faces selected or all. <laughs> <laughs> when I right click, as you can see, I have successfully added the menu with the functionalities related to the select tool, right? Right. <laughs> and also, when I click anywhere here in the interface, I also get the same contextual menu, right? Right. <laughs> now, I'm going to select the freeze tool. And when I click with the right mouse button, as you can see, I also have the other type of contextual menu, right? Right. <laughs> I hope you have learned something new. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. See you there.